he will always tell the truth. A man that really, really loves his woman is always gonna be straight up, honest with her. So it's definitely a, a way to tell if somebody really, really loves you. And you know, anybody that really, really loves you is gonna tell you what you need to hear, not what you wanna hear. They're not gonna sugarcoat stuff for you. I know oftentimes, you know, there are things that my husband has said in the past that have hurt my feelings, but it's, it's changed me and it's something that I really, really needed to do anyway. So I'm very thankful for that. And you know, when somebody really, really loves you, they're not gonna hesitate doing that. He will prioritize you too. He will make time for you. There will be no excuses. He will simply do exactly what he needs to do to put you first. You are important to him. He is gonna prioritize you and your needs. Whatever you need, um, spending time with you, whether that's going somewhere with you or um, you know, doing something for you that's really, really important to you, he is going to prioritize that because when you really, really want to do something, you're going to do it. It doesn't matter what it is. If you really like to do something, you're going to make time for it. Like, there's just no way around that. I hate when people kind of just like, oh, I don't have time for this. If you really, really want to do it, if it's really important to you, you will make time for it. You, you will do it. People always 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 make time for the things that are important to them so if you have a man that's giving you all these excuses and he can't ever come on time and he's he's showing up late or he doesn't show up and he doesn't come through when you really need him to you're not important to him and that's just the honest to god truth i don't care how people try to juice it up for you or how you tell yourself that oh well he's he's this and he's that you know making excuses for him if he really, really wants to do something for you, vice versa, you know, you with him. If you really want to do something for somebody, you're a priority to them. They're important to you. So, he pays attention to you. And I'm not talking about he looks at you or he, you know, um, is attracted to you or he's like watching you and making sure that you look good and all of that. I'm talking about he actually listens to you. He pays attention to what you say. He takes heed in every conversation that you guys have with one another. And he really makes an effort to keep that stuff logged into his mind. You don't necessarily have to tell these people what it is that you like and what it is that you do because they're paying attention and you don't have to tell them. And that's the greatest feeling in the world when you can do something and you can say something or you can you have a desire, a certain appetite for something and they already know what it is that you want because they pay attention to you. He makes sacrifices for you. This is especially true for um, people who have been in a long relationship, my long relationshipers or um, married people, people who uh, have been married for a couple of years. This isn't for the people who are in the cupcake stage of the relationship. And I'm talking about like, you've only been with this person for like six months, less than a year. You know, y'all really don't know each other that well. I'm talking about people who have actually been in some long-term relationships long enough to know um, what it is. You know, usually a sacrifice is when someone omits doing something that they enjoy simply because they care about you. You love pizza. You love pizza. Pizza is like your most favorite food in the world. But you know that you're going to have to sacrifice your love for pizza to get the result and weight loss that you want. You get what I'm saying? And with sacrifice, I think that it's something that actually initiates growth. It is um, so important in you know with humanity just in general we all need to be making certain sacrifices and getting uncomfortable in certain situations so that we can grow so that we can um become the best versions of ourselves he lets you go this is for the people who have been in relationships for a while and it's just not working out it's just not going the way you know you thought it was gonna go you have discovered that you are two totally different people. Um, you have two totally different ways of thinking. And the relationship is just not going anywhere. It's not progressing. 
and it's probably best for both people to not be in that relationship. This could go either way, man or woman. If you're in a relationship with someone and you have been in a relationship with them for a while, but you really love them and you really care about them, you will let them go. You are not going to um, hold and burden and anchor yourself down to someone that you really, really love, but you know it's not for you. Now, this could be, I love this person, I've been with this person, um, but I need to grow up and he needs to grow up or whatever the case may be. And you take a few years off and then a, a few years after that, you know, you just meet back up and y'all are in a better place. You know, that's sometimes, that's what needs to happen in relationships. I have seen so many people who have been in long-term relationships. They have kids and everything. And those relationships were well overdone. And they are still in a relationship and they have the nerve to say, oh, I love them. Like, if you, you're holding on to this person because you love them. Like, if you really, really love something, you'll let it go. You'll let it go and if it's yours, it'll come back to you. But there are people who don't let that evolution process Process take root because they're so selfish in their needs and they think they look at a relationship as an asset to them not as a you know a something that they genuinely love a relationship should never ever be a item to you a piece of security it should never ever be about that and that's the number one reason why so many people are in toxic ass relationships because they are in relationships that are overdone they are in situations that have long ago should have been like because every relationship that you have is not meant to be with you forever it's not it's not designed for you to have for the rest of your life it's just something that you need it for that season, for that time period, so that you can learn something from it, whether it's to grow, whether it's to realize who you are and what's important to you. They're not designed to be, you're not designed to be like that for so long. It's kind of like when you get a car or, you know, you, you, you have it for what you need it for during that time, but you know, at a certain time, you have to get a new car. You know, you're appreciative and you love that car for what it did and for what purpose it served. But in the end, you want to progress. You want to like level up. He doesn't care about your glamour, your beauty, your glow up. He don't care about that kind of stuff. Don't get me wrong. My husband loves, he loves when I get dressed up. He loves when I wear sexy clothes. He just loves it, but he also loves it when I'm not dressed up and I'm around the house and I'm in my bonnet and my sweatpants and, you know, my fat is hanging around and, you know, I'm not the most attractive that day or I don't feel the best that day. He, he loves that anyway. A real man and a man that really, really loves you does not look at you because of what you look like. Truth be told, you know, your appearance, you know, is probably the first thing that attracted him to you, but he's gonna always look beyond that, you know? That's why I think that a lot of girls on Instagram who are really beautiful on the outside and they're really, really, like, attractive on the outside are very, they don't have relationships that are sustainable. Their relationships are not long-lasting. They're very superficial and built on glamour and beauty you know love is not about external love is always about internal and beauty is always in the eye of the beholder so what is beautiful to you or what's beautiful to somebody else might not be beautiful to your man you know it might be something different there are men that like women who have long hair and then there are men that love women who have short hair or no hair like Beauty is very subjective, and I really do feel like this is something that a lot of women in our culture, in our community, in our generation are so fixated on. Even myself, you know, I kind of gotten, to, I had gotten to the point where I felt like if I didn't put my, my makeup on or my stomach didn't look this way 
or if if I can get rid of my stretch marks, if only I could just do that, then I would be good enough, you know? And it's like, my man is completely happy with me um, being who I am this way. He loves my stretch marks. He loves my jiggly stomach, you know? I gave birth to two kids, two of his kids, and he loves me for that. He looks at my body in a totally different way. And, you know, y'all, we, we can't be stressed out. We can't be trying to, like, kill ourselves and starve ourselves and, you know, surgery ourselves up just because we don't feel like we're good enough. And this goes into the next one. He supports you. Now, if you want to, if you want to go get plastic surgery, um, if you want to go get a boo job, I know for me, I've been wanting to get my titties done for a long time. Don't get me wrong. I actually do love my boobs, but Sometimes I want them to be a little bit bigger. And my husband supports me on that. He's like, you, I don't really feel like you need that. But if you want to, I will support you. You know, your man is going to support you through it all. If he really, really loves you, he's going to support you. He's going to um, invest in you. He's going to make room for you. He's going to encourage you to do whatever it is that you want to do. Your dreams, your goals. That is what support is all about. And it's some days I don't feel like getting up going to the gym and my husband is like, well, you said you this is what you want to do, so you need to go. And that is what support is about. It's, you know, somebody that's like giving you that extra push. And we all need that. He stands up for you. This is a big thing, um, especially for me and my husband before, like when we were first dating. Um, you know, <laughs> he had to stand up for me a lot, especially with his family. You know, his family was kind of like very judgmental. And, you know, a man that really, really loves you would not tolerate anybody. Doesn't matter if they're family. He will not tolerate anybody mistreating you, um, disrespecting you, um, bad than you he is not gonna tolerate anything like that he just won't allow it you know he's gonna make sure that if somebody's gonna talk about you they better not do it around him <laughs> he is understanding he will put away his pride and his ego to understand where you're coming from to understand your perspective on things uh, a real man and a man that really really loves you will always really really wants to do he's gonna put down his ego because we all know male's ego man's ego is so fragile and when you have a man that really really loves you he is gonna be willing to put his ego to the side and understand you and get your perspective on things and you know look over what he thinks and kind of just even if it isn't what is right and even if it isn't what is true he's still going to try to understand your side of you your point of view and then from there you both can come to a compromise and it's not always just about him understanding you you have to understand him as well you have to be willing to be open to what he goes through and what he is fighting and what he deals with on a regular basis and i think that's what having a healthy balanced relationship is really about and 10 this is the final one and i think that this is probably one of the most important he will show you how much he loves you you notice how all of the topics that I mentioned in this video had nothing to do with money, nothing to do with finances, nothing like, you know, finances and, you know, having security is a good thing to have. It's, it's, it's important. I'm not even going to lie about that, but that's not what you need in love. Love is what love does. A lot of times we just really get bit up with the word, I love you. But if your man is constantly saying, oh, I love you, girl, I love you, I love you, and he's lying to you, he's constantly cheating on you, he's being dishonest, he doesn't pay attention to you, he really doesn't love you. You know, anybody could say, I love you. Y'all, this is my daughter, and she was not having it. <laughs> she was not having it, no. No, she wasn't. Say, hey, mama. Say, hey. She was not having it, y'all. 
I love you is so easy to say, but when you love somebody, you're basically willing to act on it. You're going to put movement behind the term. And, you know, even if it's somebody just saying, like, I love you and here's some money, or I love you and I found this jacket that you might like, you know, that's that's great and all, but if you really love me, you'll spend time with me. You'll understand me. You will sacrifice things for me. You will, you know, be honest with me. That's what love is about. That's what true, long-standing, healthy, balanced love is about. You, you can't buy love, you know, and even though, like I said, it's a great thing, you know, who doesn't want flowers and roses and all the romantic, bougie, bougie stuff that we see on TV? Like, who does not want that? You know, Valentine's Day is like a very marketable holiday for a lot of retailers, but love is so much more than that. It's about a connection. It's about your willingness, your willingness to do something before yourself, your ability to want to put somebody else before you. That's what love is about, you know. And if you are giving and giving and giving and giving so much love and you're pretty much wearing yourself out and nobody is giving that back to you, then that should tell you something. That should tell you that they're not where you're at. They're not at that same headspace. So, you know, I think that that's important. And, you know, your spirit, your soul can feel that. Like, you really, really, really know deep down inside that this isn't right. If something isn't right, you really know that it's not right. You know, your instincts can pretty much tell you everything that's not right all the time if you just listen to it. So, um, yeah, that is all for today. I, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I am about to hang out with baby girl because she was not having it. I don't know if y'all heard her. <laughs> I don't know if y'all heard her in the background crying. Um, but she was not having it. I try to do these videos during nap time while she's asleep. But she woke up early today. So this is what we got. So say hello mama. She's not really... So I will see you guys on the next video. And until then, 